Alright guys, well, is it a gloomy winter night or a gloomy spring night now that the groundhog has spoken? Whatever the hell it is, it is a gloomy night, it is a gloomy Monday night. February 5th, the gloomiest thing of all being that uh, I am out of Simply Limeade and I am drinking a beer. Fortunately, I have a Blue Moon Belgian White beer to get me through my no Simply Limeade depression. But being Monday, you know what that means, that it's 2024, that we have uh, <clears throat> restarted our Dump the Trump the High Roundup. Uh, see how long I can stomach this, see if I can make it uh, until November, you know, when Donald Trump will uh, will be our, our next president. So I kind of want to, let, let's start our Dump the Trump the Roundup rant, uh, actually with a few stories <clears throat> about good old Joe Biden who is, you know, the, the man single-handedly most responsible for having Donald Trump in the White House. If uh, anybody uh, is looking for who to, uh, to blame for Donald Trump in the White House, look at Joe Biden and you will see the reason that... Uh, Donald Trump's in the White House, but uh, I do have a new respect for uh, Joe Biden. Uh, many versions of this. It actually came out on Politico, I guess, originally, and, uh, and then there's been several follow-up stories. So this one, uh, this is Megan. McCain, you know, John McCain's daughter, uh, weighing in on Joe Biden calling Donald Trump a sick fuck. Megan McCain says, we need more real. There you go. Megan McCain on Friday praised President Biden's reported choice words behind closed doors for President Trump. <clears throat> this is, this is uh, McCain talking about uh, Biden. I continue to not understand why Biden's team keeps him so isolated because him calling Trump a sick fuck is my favorite thing he's done in months and months. It's real and we need more real from everyone in politics in general. The president also allegedly said, quote, what a fucking asshole the guy is, according to a uh, recent report from Politico. And uh, so Joe Biden understands like any, even with the amount of brain that Joe Biden has left in his, uh, you know, his dementia riddled head, uh, even he has enough brains to know that uh, Donald Trump is a sick fuck and a fucking asshole. Uh, it's right here in the mainstream media. Uh, how can you not believe it? So, if he honestly believes that, why is he so intent on putting Donald Trump back in the White House by not getting his fucking sick old ass uh, out of there? So, uh, one, one more from, from Fox News. Biden says Americans will be living in a nightmare if Trump wins re-election. Once again, uh, Joe Biden is right 
directly on it. Uh, imagine the nightmare of Donald Trump, Biden said at a campaign stop. Meanwhile, Trump's own campaign responded with the same tone. Spokesman Stephen Chung declared that, quote, Biden has been a nightmare for this country in just three short years in the White House. Uh, and, 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 you know, again, guys, for people, I, I, I don't know, for people who don't know me, uh, and are still clinging to some ridiculous notion that because I find Donald Trump to be the single most offensively despicable human being on planet Earth, that I am no fan of Joe Biden. I understand the frying pan or the fire. I understand that this country is going to be living in a nightmare. We've been living in a nightmare for seven years, and we're going to be living in a nightmare for minimally five years more. Either way it goes, we're living in a fucking nightmare. All right? But it's, it's, it's just the level of nightmare. Again, it's not even so much the politics that uh, I, I think a lot of uh, Trump derangement syndrome is. It, it's, it's just the fact of uh, 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 just having to look at that fucker every day. Look at him, listening to, you know, it's, it's, it's not like... You know, the, the difference between a Donald Trump victory and a Joe Biden victory is, you know, when when Donald Trump uh, first won the White House uh, back in uh, whenever the hell that was, 2016, that I, I used to wake up every morning and, and, and lie there in bed just trying, just tr praying the closest I get to pray, to just trying to manifest that I was going to wake up and read the news that Donald Trump was dead, and and and, and every day I, I would I would get up uh, hoping to hell I was going to turn on the news and find out that Donald fucking Trump was dead. I don't give a shit how it happens. The motherfucker need, needs, he, he, he just needs to go. Uh, my bets are on uh, Ronald McDonald or Colonel Sanders. Uh, I, I'm still holding out hope that between uh, now and November uh, that Ronald McDonald or Colonel Sanders will uh, put this country out of its misery by uh, by offing that fat ass motherfucker, uh, and I, that never happened with Joe Biden. It, 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 as much as I despise Joe Biden and everything he stands for, almost as much as Donald, it's not like you know I wake up every morning and uh, and the first thing I think about was hoping that Joe Biden died during the night while I was asleep. Uh, I mean, that, that's just me. I, I don't know. Does anyone else can, can relate to what I'm talking about? You, you know, for those of us who despise both of these uh, old motherfuckers, uh, am I the only one who, well, just, just what I said. Anyway, what else have we got in the dump the Trump the uh, rant card? Uh, well, covered that one enough. Uh, you know, Newsweek, if you listen to Collapse Chronicles today, that... Uh, Newsweek is, 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 I found out about this 
here's their ad that Newsweek is running this big promotion for this new uh, roundup they're doing every week called A Better Planet with stories of inspiration. Sign up for Newsweek's Better Planet, a weekly digest of forward-looking stories about building a brighter future for Earth. So I signed up and I discussed that in the days. So that is the ad that is plastered over this story and from Newsweek, uh, which I did not see in the Better Planet, a vote for Trump is a, is a vote for an environmental apocalypse, which is exactly what, uh, what uh, a vote for Donald Trump is. This is by somebody named Saeed Khan from the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding. Uh, you know, just uh, going, just going to rehash four years of this, this Donald Trump is a walking environmental apocalypse and I, I love it how they always start out uh, whenever these clueless moron little limp dick lefties uh, the first thing they mention when they talk about Donald Trump being a walking environmental apocalypse uh, that they talk about him, you know, getting the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement, which is the number one best thing that Donald Trump ever did in his presidency, was get the goddamn U.S. out of that fucking uh, joke uh, Paris Climate Agreement. Now, he got the U.S. out of it for all of the wrong reasons. But, you know, the ends justifies the means. So you can expect always to see that the first thing these clueless fucking moron little limp dick lefties are talking about is the one good thing the guy did uh, environmentally was, was, was get the fucking U.S. out of the uh, Paris climate uh, uh, agreement. Uh, you know, all his promises uh, of drill, baby drill, uh, by drawing on um, sound, blah, 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 and ignoring all warnings by climate scientists and every other sort of environmental science, Donald Trump is hell-bent on demonstrating his credentials as the candidate that will destroy the planet in the pursuit of a good deal. Um, well, you know, the more I read about this, uh, even during Christmas, Trump wished electric car users would rot in hell. Huh. Well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm softening on Donald Trump. I have to reconsider uh, Donald Trump. And then, of course, uh, Newsweek is quick to point out, at least this guy has, President Biden himself is hardly the perfect candidate. Uh, you know, talking about how Joe Biden is uh, uh, is is from an environmental perspective. Uh, okay, but how does Sheed Khan? 
uh, wrap this up because this apocalypse will, this is Newsweek. You know, this is pretty good for Newsweek. Uh, give them some credit, uh, you know, with their new electric vehicle ad campaign called Better Planet that, uh, that they can talk about electric vehicle users rotting in hell. But wrap it up here, uh, she, because this apocalypse <clears throat> will not only sweep away our homes, jobs, and livelihoods, it will destroy our American spirit and values of community, openness and perseverance in the face of adversity. This year, Americans must demand Joe Biden deliver policies that matches rhetoric. Yes. Or we risk letting the out of control Trump train drive us all off a cliff. Time is running out and we are on the cusp of environmental collapse. The world cannot afford four more years of this apocalyptic trajectory. But of course, uh, 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 again, uh, it makes note, as far as the trajectory of this apocalypse, uh, it, it makes no fucking difference whether the frying pan uh, or the fire is burning up the White House. Uh, that, that part is done. It just comes down to which one of these motherfuckers uh, can, can you stand uh, more than the other one. And just the very thought uh, I mean, we already have an environmental apocalypse in full swing in this country and on, and on this planet. We have enough on our minds uh, dealing with an environmental apocalypse w without having to deal with fucking Donald Trump. Uh, let's go over to medium.com. Here is Michael... Berg, M.D., asking the question, seriously, do any smart people support Trump or are all his maggots, toothless, knuckle-dragging knuckle pinheads? Um... Uh, I get the MAGA politicians and Republicans, they have to do what they have to do by sucking up to the rotten rabble-rouser to get elected. Their behavior is understandable, immoral, and unethical, but still explicable. Talking about the MAGA, po the, the MAGA politicians, but how about the rest of the population, the roused rabble that supports the malevolent mango? Do any of them believe what they're saying in support of this dude? And more to the point, do any of them have coherent thoughts in their heads? Uh, and then anyway... He, uh, he, he breaks down the various, uh, he, he, you know, Trump tard, the, 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 the various classes of Trump tards. And, he, you know, I, I just had this rant a couple of days ago about, uh, he, 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 you know, trying to be on pile of fish. And, uh, you know, I was reading out some, uh, uh, something from some woman in New York with a fucking master's degree. 
uh, you know, my, my best friend in the world who's voted for Donald Trump twice, although she is changing her vote to uh, RFK, hallelujah, or at least she's telling me she is, uh, you know, an, an intelligent, college-educated uh, woman. Uh, this is, the, 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 the problem is, if, I, I, I guess, you're, if, if, if having a college education it has anything to do on any level with, with a sign of intelligence, then there are a shitload of people with college educations, master's degrees, probably PhDs, voting for Donald Trump. And then, 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 of course, there are a bunch of these little fucking limp dick lefties with college degrees and master's degrees and, uh, and PhDs voting for Joe Biden. I, I, I like to still cling to the notion that anybody voting for Joe Biden is uh, is uh, voting against Donald Trump. All right, Richard Lowenthal has a good kind of uh, tangential uh, Trump derangement syndrome uh, rant this week titled High Anxiety Bordering on Sheer Terror my personal nightmare and our collective nightmare reality. Yes. Note, this is not a normal reasoned article because these are not normal times. This is an outpouring of pure emotion, anxiety, and outrage. Ah! Holy shit! What the fuck? What the hell is happening to people? Help! Help me! Help us! I woke last night in a near panic, my heart pounding after a vivid nightmare about intensifying societal collapse. I woke up scared to death, feeling desperate and scared shitless. I woke up startled because even inside my own dream I sort of woke up and realized with a jolt that many right-leaning Americans own lots and lots of guns. I always knew that, but suddenly I knew it on a much deeper level. I got it, and I got what that means in today's America. They have lots of guns and weapons of every description, and more and more they're itching to use them on people like me in a second civil war. Yeah, baby, bring it on. Holy shit. Some buried part of me finally woke up and admitted that soon my partner and I may face intense life-threatening danger emanating straight from the nice, normal, brainwashed Americans living near us in Texas. What the fuck? It's goddamn terrifying. Yes, societal collapse is no longer in the realm of fantasy or dystopian fiction. It's no longer a dark sci-fi fantasy. It's accelerating now and here, here at home. I can literally feel it surging, expanding, and exploding all around us. It's complete... Fuck! Fuck this shit! I fucking hate what's happening to our country. We're flushing our one and only society down the toilet full of patriotic pride in our own self-destruction. It's completely insane. Insane. Damn Donald Trump and all the fucking lying liars at Fox News and all those lying, ass-licking, opportunistic cowards in the GOP. I hate these bastards these seditious, devious manipulators. I hate their endless, fucked-up provocations and incitements. That's all they're good for, to lie and lie and incite and incite. It's totally crazy and crazy-making, too. Help! It's insane 
reason, logic, compassion, love, cooperation, civilization, all being flushed <coughs> down the toilet. For what? For what? Every day in and out, there's this loud, loud, far-right drumbeat goading people to want to rise up and, God damn it, use their hatred and their guns against other Americans. Every day, more and more, they're being pushed, prompted, and brainwashed into thinking they'll soon be forced to start purging our nation of all the leftists and undesirables. But hey, it's not their fault. Since they're being forced into taking action, they're just being good citizens and patriots. Right. I feel like mindless, decent people everywhere in the U.S. are going batshit crazy and turning ever more hateful and cruel. Goddamn stupid sheeple, they're fucking gonna destroy everything. Everything we've built, everything we've been working toward, everything we dreamed of creating together, they're happily destroying it all. All of it in the name of our Lord, Donald Trump and the hateful bullshit he and his far right keep churning out. Tear it all down. Don't stop until it's all smashed to bits. Remember, I alone can fix it. Fucking fools. Damn, I despise living in today's United States. What a sick, twisted joke. The United States more like the disunited and dysfunctional states. I call it the untied states. What a total cluster fuck. And the rest of the world isn't far behind us. The former shining city on the hill that once inspired millions. Here we are <clears throat> disintegrating and dying and much of the world is dying to catch up with our insanity. The fools or it maybe even outdo us. Wouldn't that be grand? What the fuck? Crazy evil is spreading around the world like wildfire and with goddamn social media everywhere, even faster than wildfire. It's all going to shit here in the land of the free. Now we're in the shit storm, smack in the middle. We're stuck in this shit storm. Arrgh, holy shit, God damn it. How do we get out of this one? What the fuck? Help! But anyway, I want to thank uh, Brother Alistair for, uh, let's wrap it up to uh, close with uh, an actual, uh, we need to hear the uh, the the great statesman Donald Trump himself speaking. Uh, this is uh, you know when he was talking about that the way to prevent uh, wildfires in California is to cut all the dead trees down. Uh, because California's wildfires have nothing to do with uh, climate change on any level. It's all because the Democrats are responsible for leaving too many dead trees standing. And we're going to play a short clip from that. Uh, I guess the volume is up. Okay, Donald Trump, give us your uh, climate change prognosis and for California wildfires. So I think one area of mutual agreement and priority is vegetation management. But I think okay, so I I agree with Donald Trump uh, that there there is too much fuel uh, being left on the bottom. So. They're all in agreement on that. They agree with Donald Trump on that point. I think we want to work with you to really recognize the changing climate and what it means to our forests and actually work together with that science. That science is going to be key 
Because if we, if we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay. It'll start getting cooler. I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> I, well, I don't think science knows actually. So I think one area. Of yes, one more time. Uh, what is the for the the forecast, Donald Trump, for the California wildfire forecast? Start getting cooler. I wish you just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> Well, I don't think science knows, actually. Yep, uh, that goddamn science, that goddamn science doesn't know, actually. Oh, uh, anyway. What? Uh, uh, shut up, they're having an, an Airbnb ad. There you go, That that's a picture, uh, there you go, There there is a picture from, uh, from uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. Yes. Anyway, uh, I got to wrap this up and uh, go see if my dog's dinner is ready. Is your dinner ready or not? Oh, Jesus. Bye, guys.